So for supplies today, I have got here a selection of flowers. So I actually have kept these from my other arrangements when they were small pieces, rather than discarding them, I kept them, put them in this little container for my corsage. If I had more of these scraps than corsages to make, this is actually quite pretty just as it is. And I could put this anywhere in my venue to add a little bit more floral elements without having to increase the cost. I've also got a hydration chamber here. So it's a fancy word for a Tupperware. I took a wet paper towel. It's not super wet. You can see it's just a bit damp. I put it in the bottom of my Tupperware. When I finish my corsage or my boutonniere, I'm gonna put it on top there. I'm gonna put the lid on, seal it up nice and tight and put it into my fridge. There's obviously no water source for a boutonniere or a corsage. So by putting it in this hydration chamber in the fridge, it'll help it stay fresh long enough for your wedding. Then in terms of other supplies, I have got this little wristlet here. This is just a super basic one that is just an elastic with a bit of a prong here. And then I've got, of course, pruners, which are a staple in everything I do. I've got regular scissors. I've got felt and a glue gun. So you can actually use floral glue, but I thought I would show you guys using a regular glue gun just in case you don't have access to floral glue. So now we know what we need in terms of supplies. Let's actually get started building. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my little corsage here and I'm gonna take my felt and I'm gonna glue it onto the corsage clip. This piece of felt is a little too big, I feel like, so I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut it into place. So the reason why I'm using the felt is the flowers stick better to the felt than to this metal here. I find the glue doesn't really stick to the metal. You could also use cardboard, but cardboard is so rigid that I like the felt better because it moves as you move your wrist around. So that way it's a little bit more flexible. So I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm going to generously apply hot glue to my felt. And then I'm gonna put that onto my corsage clip. Like so. Hot glue is very hot, so just, just ta. Ah, don't burn yourself like I'm doing. Hot glue and even floral glue has a tendency to create these sort of tendrils that kind of form. So you're gonna want to clean those up so that way you don't have them uh, in your arrangement. I would suggest making these one to two days before your wedding and then you just store them in the fridge. And that's a good idea to make them in advance so that way you don't have all this glue all over your fresh new manicure. So here is our corsage. I would, if I was making this for a wedding, I would obviously clean up the glue better, but nobody wants to watch me fiddle around with this glue. So let's just get going. So I've got my felt here and I'm going to use greenery first. So the greenery I'm using is, I'm going to use this big leaf. So if I were to put this leaf on here, this would be giant. So I don't know if I really want it to be that big. So I'm just going to take my snips and give it a little bit of a haircut to where I feel is a bit more manageable size wise. This is a Salal leaf and you can use any sort of greenery, but I like Salal. So just give yourself a little check here, seeing that you like the size of it. Then I'm going to glue being more careful this time to not burn myself. And I'm just going to put lots and lots of glue and then put my Salal leaf on there. I've got some more glue sticks handy here. So you'll end up going through a lot of glue. It's always kind of tricky to start a new stick. So you can watch me awkwardly fumble here. I didn't get enough glue on the end here. So putting some more there and more on this side here. So this Alal doesn't mind this hot glue on it because it's a really rigid leaf. So uh, don't be worried about gluing the bejesus out of it. Okay, leaf there. Now let's put the secondary leaf at an angle. So I'm gonna have to put some glue on top of leaf number one. Just 
just checking that I've got all points of contact glued down. And then as I go, just kind of pulling these tendrils away. Perfect, so let's just put it on my wrist here to just do a quick check-in to see how it's looking. I like that, it's looking good so far. Now it's time to add in our flowers. So I'm gonna start with my main flower, which is this Spray Mum. And I need to have a flat surface in order for the glue to affix to it. So I cut the stem off really nice and tight. And then I'm gonna pre-think about where I want it placed before I get gluing, because once you glue, it's challenging to remove it. I wanna put two, I'm gonna kinda nestle them into each other. So I'm actually gonna pull some of these petals out of the one so I can create like a little nesting space for the secondary one. And then I've got some hypericum berries that I also wanna add in. So I'm just kind of mocking this up to give myself an idea of whether what it's gonna look like done. And I've got some baby blue eucalyptus. You need to pull the bottom pieces off of it so we have a good spot for it to glue in. I can't pull too much off. Um, so I'm gonna get a bit of a stem that I can like shove in. This is solid Dago. I'm gonna add some of that. So just kind of playing around till I kind of feel like I like the vibe that I'm going for before I pull the pin and lock it in. This one here is some willow eucalyptus. Okay, I am liking how it looks so far. I mean, it's just kind of mocked up there. So let's get going and glue this on. I'm gonna pull a couple more of these leaves so I have a nice sort of resting place for this one. And I don't wanna get any hot glue on the petals. So let's put hot glue on and then just push onto it, holding it for a few seconds just to let it set. And then put some hot glue on the other one that we're nesting with. And it kind of push it into its little nest. Spray mums are so forgiving. They don't even care that I'm touching them there. Just like, cool, just hanging out here. Okay, I've got my two flowers in place now. And now I'm gonna add in my berry. So I kind of mocked this up before, but if you decide to change your mind, nobody will judge you, I promise. So if you're trying it out and like, nah, it doesn't really feel, I don't feel it anymore. See, I don't feel that anymore. Let's try cutting it down and see if that feels better to me. And I might even decide I don't like it at all. That is totally fine. I like that a lot better when it's shorter. So what I'm gonna do here is put a whole swack of glue on the end of the stem and then lift up the flower petal and just shove that in. You can see kind of the, the main gist of this is you're shoving, putting glue on things and then just shoving them in. That's kind of the, the fancy technique here. I would suggest trying to make these beforehand. So you can see I'm just using a tiny bit of flowers. So if you could find a place to source a few flowers, you could make these in advance, just so that way you can have a, a tryout before your big day. That might make you feel a little bit more confident if you are doing this for the second or third time rather than kind of the first time. So it's starting to come along here adding in my eucalyptus. And now I think I'm gonna add in a little bit, bit of this feather. So I don't want it like hanging out like it's a tail on my arrangement. So I wanna make sure that I cut it short enough that it'll fit in there nicely. Glue a bunch of glue on it. And then lifting up the petals. I don't wanna get hot glue on these petals. So I'm just lifting this up and shoving it in there. If I make this a little bit too long, like maybe this does look a little tail-like, you can always come in after and 
just give it a trim with your pruners just to make it a little bit more manageable if you feel like you went overboard on the tail of it. So that is the, the gist of what, what we're doing here. So I'm just gonna add in a few more until I feel like it looks complete. And you know, if you don't love it after you've made it, you can just pull it all off and, and start again. Like it uses such a small amount of flowers that all you will have lost is time. And really you learned while doing it. So you've actually lost nothing at all. I'm gonna try using my felt to sort of push that down to try to avoid burning myself as frequently. I feel like that's a better idea. Just keep doing that. I'm gonna keep adding in some more greenery and you guys can kind of watch as I decide how I want this kind of greenery to be placed. So I am done now. So take a look at this cutie. Uh, now we're gonna wanna make sure we pulled away all the little tendrils of glue that seem to somehow find their home on the piece here. And let's try it on. This is the moment of truth. All right. And there we go. I love it. Uh, I hope you guys loved learning about how to make your own corsage. If you end up making one, make sure you tag me. I love seeing what you guys create. And if you have any questions, of course, just drop me a line anytime.